April 14th, Friday, 5.55 Mountain Time, 2017. Yesterday, on the 13th, there was a major fireball event recorded here at the American Meteor Society of what appears to be a large fireball that was witnessed across the entire state of South Carolina. We're going to have a little fun with this. I'm going to calculate the speed of this thing. You guys are probably going to be kind of shocked because looking at it, you're going to think just the opposite of what I'm about to show you. But anyway, this thing was witnessed in nine states, uh, clear down in West Orlando. It happened around 8.45 in the evening. Um, witnesses are saying, now actually there was 417 before I forget, 417 witnesses uh, took the time, and I appreciate you guys doing this because it means something to me. I like reading your your experience, how long you saw it, how bright it was. Um, it's It's educational. You've got people here saying they saw it up to 20 seconds. So that thing was very high in the atmosphere. Um, on average, it's 7.5. So what we're going to do mathematically here in a minute is we're going to just come up with an average of about 10 seconds. But here's a picture of it. Um, and it was taken at 8.42 p.m. And you can see it was visible across um, the sky. And it was very high in the atmosphere. I just want you to know that, um, especially to be visible. It's clear down here in West Orlando. But here's a story at the Watchers. And it's got a few, a couple of videos. Here's a heat signature map. That's courtesy of the American Meteor Society. But um, witnesses say it lasted about 10 seconds on average. That was the general consensus based off of a flight path from Greenville, South Carolina to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And that path is, as the crow flies, about 230 miles. We're going to use that for mathematical purposes. If you drove it, if you went this way, it's 284. If you went this route, it's 252. So we're just go, going to go as the crow flies. Let's say 230. So let's look at the fireball real quick. There's a video here on the watchers, and you can see it in the background of this. I think this is a security camera at someone's home. <laughs> you hear crickets in the background. Watch right over here. You'll see it go behind the trees. Actually, that was pretty good size, believe it or not. That was a decent sized fireball. Trust me. This one here, I'm not sure about it. I, uh, I think this is on a dash cam. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay. It's obviously slowed it down some on top of its what appeared to be slow speed. Turns a corner, and here it comes right up in the top of the video. So that was a good sized fireball. The heat signature map right there, yeah, that was a decent sized fireball, but it was high up in the atmosphere. Now I'm going to show you how fast this thing was going based off of just simple averages. The general consensus was about 10 seconds. Um, we just looked on a map based off of the American uh, Meteor Society's map from Greenville to Myrtle Beach, which is 230 miles. As the crow flies, here we go. 10 seconds was the average visibility time. 230 miles it went in 10 seconds. There are six 10 second blocks in a minute, correct? Correct. So we're going to take 230 times 6 to get our minute. That's 1380 miles per minute. So we're going to take how many minutes are in an hour? We all know that. 60. 82,000 miles per hour that thing was moving. Say what? No, it looked like it was crawling. No, it was really fast. It was just very high up in the atmosphere. made it look like it was moving slow. The thing was moving around 80,000 miles per hour. Give or take a little bit, maybe either way. We're going based off of just simple averages. because We don't know exactly, but based off of what the professionals are saying, it's about 230 miles. So there you have it. 82,000 miles per hour approximately that big slow moving fireball was moving. It looked like it was that way because it was so high up in the atmosphere. And if you reduce it the other way and you want to get um, miles per second, very simple. 23 miles per second is what that thing was moving. And that, based off of all of the fireballs I've seen over the years, that's about average. What I'm watching for though, the reason I pay attention to those numbers is because I'm looking for groups of slow, and I'm talking slow moving fireballs that are moving at about six um, miles per second. 
really slow. So that's why I pay attention to that. Otherwise, it's just kind of boring information. But, you know, it's kind of educational. It lets you know that, okay, if I see it for a long time, it's high up in the atmosphere. And its size can probably be deceiving because it's up so high, you can't really get a perspective on how big it really is. But that was a big fireball. It was high up in the atmosphere. And it was moving at over 80,000 miles per hour. Heads up, guys. Stay alert. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.